Greetings once again. <clears throat> this is Brother Blacklight, Elder Blacklight. 76 years old, going strong. I was brought up <clears throat> in the 60s. Born in 1946. Came into manhood in the late 60s. Right around the time uh, the famous Detroit so-called riots jumped off. And that's the time, you know, the Panthers was booming. Nation of Islam was strong in Detroit. But I grew up in an area, era, in an area where it was on Finkel between 12 back then now Rosa Park, Dexter, uh, Davidson, Puritan was the main cross streets along with Linwood. And the brothers back then wasn't no joke. Y'all brothers done got punctified. For real, y'all punctified. Cause I'm not gonna go through the whole history. I've been giving you sketches of it over the years that I've been on YouTube of how we made the white boys pay us taxes. The mafia couldn't even come over in our neighborhood. We jacked them up. This is Finkel, this is also known as Five Mile. After Five Mile, you got six miles, seven miles, then eight miles. So that's three miles going north. You got eight miles where Eminem came up, but not in my time. And that's what we had chased the white people in Detroit across eight miles. Uh, across Telegraph, you know, so between uh, Telegraph and Eight Mile was the, the uh, borders where it was predominantly black. Detroit right now is almost 80% black. And uh, only time that messed us up from running things was when they started putting penny caps of heroin, you know, in, into the hood. Brothers got greedy. After heroin came cocaine then teas and blues because they was popping pills back then too then uh, crack that's all she wrote after that now they got fentanyl so you got a culture of crackheads freaks because the white boys start letting them eight millimeter movies real to real go in the neighborhood when the uh, pornography theaters we had a bunch of pornography theaters with pornography books where the freaky white boys would go then brothers would go and buy them and have freaky parties in the basement we wasn't we would we wasn't about too much until after the Vietnam War, brothers was getting that tie stick. Then the Mexicans was push, pushing that Panama and that, uh, I forgot the other one, Panama Gold and 
red than they Africans had a uh, some herb then the mushroom then the mushrooms then uh hashi forgot about hashi came out then LSD uh purple purple haze that's what messed the brothers up so the brothers in the 70s start getting punctified trying to get with the hippies because the hippies would have all those drugs the hippies would make them in the basement THC uh, in the basement they still doing it so from the 70s to the 80s then when uh, black uh, uh, power movement came out public enemy and them around the 90s y'all got conscious again so what's happening now is these are imitation you know revolutionaries because YouTube uh, social media television got these fake ass punk con men that y'all following leading down the leading down the road where they got weapons of mass destruction. Now let me say this right quick. They not gonna use guns to uh, kill you. It's gonna be a uh, biological warfare. Cause they don't want to mess up the buildings. They're not gonna blow blow nothing up. The Russians, the Chinese, the communist Chinese, and uh, maybe about five more white people, white uh, countries, uh, Australia, England, all them is heads of the beast. All of them in cahoots together. They already here the UN is already here because all them, the UN in with them. These brothers' job right here, Tariq Nasheed, the Hakka Bay, the rest of these brothers are paid agents. They might not even know each other. But they might know each other and they putting on a show to distract you from your real true alliance with the brothers over in Africa and with Master Farah Muhammad. I'm Black Light. We're coming back with part three. Salam alaikum.